Hello, I'm Jack from Oddbug. I'm the lead designer and producer here. And today I have with me Doug Cockle, who is the narrator in Tales of Iron. How are you today, Doug? I'm good, thank you, Jack. Pleased good. to be here. It's good to have you here. It's, uh, it's crazy to hear your voice live and also in game. So it's going to be an experience <laughs> for both of us. It'll be slightly schizophrenic, won't it? <laughs> Where am I? Am I here or am I there? <laughs> okay, welcome to Tales of Iron, everybody. Tales We're of here Iron. to meet our hero, <laughs> who we will meet in his bedchamber. <laughs> yeah, here we go. That's the way to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a medieval alarm clock. <laughs> this little white mouse actually is, is... Obviously he was designed and created and put into the game before we even had you on board, but he's actually called Doug. <laughs> is he? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm dressed. Perfect. And ready to rumble. Let's go. Yeah, so now we've made it into the throne room. Obviously this is your dad and... Once again, through these picture messages, he's telling me like, good morning. <laughs> Today, you're going to fight your brother to become king. Rat society is very brutal, if you haven't known. <laughs> right, so I need to go get some ingredients so that uh, so that the chef can make my, my breakfast. This is a big thing you do throughout the game, actually. Like, you're going to be looking around for ingredients and collecting different resources so that you can craft them into food and meals of the chef. There's some turnip-looking things there. <laughs> Ooh. Little fresh water. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make this little um make this little thing, soup. whatever turnip soup or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, some breakfast stew. How do you normally uh play your games? Are you normally like a tank character or you're a rogue or I tend to gravitate to like a ranger type of character. Lighter armor. That that's my kind of go to thing if I if you know. It depends on the game, you know. Sometimes you just get a sometimes sometimes you just have a tank vibe, you know what I mean? <laughs> you go and you just well, want to you know roll across the landscape and just crush everything okay go in there and fight <laughs> he's gonna put you to the test see how see how you do okay dummy let's go whack, whack. basic basic attacks and luckily here you can't take any damage but i'm looking forward to seeing you <laughs> oh man oh, oh, this, this right. is what the dummy's here for this is for you to learn so i like how he falls over <laughs> And then the final thing you've got to do here is you just got to hold down that attack button. That's how you're going to get a charge attack. Yeah, and you blow up that. Blow up that dummy. Smashed it. Training complete. Excellent. I feel stronger already. My first encounter with Dennis was, uh, I think I died about 50 times before <laughs> I finally worked out how to do it. Sounds Out of the way, Reggie coming through. Out of the way. <laughs> They all, I'm making them jump. Like I say, we like to we like to make the world feel real. So we like to have people of all ages, different heights, different weights. Fit them all. Everyone's in. Scared them away. Okay. <laughs> Too <laughs> fierce from looking. You're not a very nice king, are you? <laughs> Scaring the children of your kingdom. I'm not even king yet. There we go. <laughs> Just saving my progress. Yeah, good idea. This is where I want to see you do Dennis first time. I reckon you've got it. Oh, man. <laughs> I think he's going to clean the floor with me. <laughs> I'm on the keyboard, man. I struggle <laughs> doing this with the controller. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> no, you're back. You're back. Now you want alt. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you're getting double I'm whammy gonna, by him. I'm just going to hide behind my shield. <laughs> okay. You got the smallest amount of health, but you're okay. Whoa! I didn't even get to react to that. <laughs> <laughs> I died I'm again. Pretty, I'm pretty sure he slashed your butt then. Like he really was going for you. Oh man, this is this is brutal. <laughs> this is one of my favourite scenes, especially with your line here, because you're so happy when you say this line, <laughs> and it gets so dark. Oh, watch this, watch this. Oh, it's so nasty. Quack! Oh. I mean, what a way to go. And here come the frogs, here come the toads. And... Is it, This is like the Game of Thrones moment, I always say. It's that moment where everything's gone a bit, you're like, so happy, I'm going to be king, and then suddenly it's like, boom. Oh no, it's gone bad. The good thing about this is, though, Doug, you was actually meant to die there, so... 
<laughs> yeah, no, I, I got that impression. Yeah, the first time I, I was like, oh, there's no way I was going to win this fight. It was just a bit of, of, you know, hack and slash for the fun of it. Some of the lines where you say frog spawn and pond scum are also some of my favorite words you say. <laughs> there's one line where you say pond scum with such hate that I think you actually do hate frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Those frogs, bond, scum. <laughs> I remember you saying earlier on you've got a dog, but have you ever had a pet rat? Would you get a pet rat? I imagine you would enjoy them. Although in, in the Witcher series, Geralt really isn't a fan of rats that much. So. Yeah, I, I had friends when I was a kid who had rats, and I've handled them. I did have mice at one point. I don't know what their sexes were. I think they were male and female, but I never really got a chance to find out. Um, I handled them a little bit, but I woke up one morning to find that one of them had eaten the head of the other. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of, you know, like, ugh. one killed the other, and then I don't remember what happened to the other one. I think it died of natural causes. He or something. mouse brain probably isn't the, great, the healthiest. Yeah, really. <laughs> There's some really good writing, I think. Yeah, the Tales of Iron. You know, just some real nice one-liner type things. We 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 had a, a lady called Emma Beebe who wrote the script basically, and she writes for like Doctor Who and uh, Judge Dredd, which obviously Judge Dredd feels like a perfect match for you. I think you'd do a great Judge Dredd voice. I got tagged on a on a Twitter post last night, basically saying they wanted them to sign me up for. Um, voicing Wolverine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I just, I just replied saying, well, I'm certainly up for it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> right, I got this archer. I got to look out for this archer. Yeah, you just need to block this as you go up here. So obviously, uh, Tales of Iron is pretty hard, but are there, are there games you're playing at the minute that you're like in, really enjoying? Um, yeah, Tales of Iron. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm dead serious. So, you know, I, I was like, I felt like a, you know, really lucky dude when um, uh, when you sent me the, the, the Steam key. I was like, yes! <laughs> well, I, so I got I, straight on it. Is there a, uh, I mean, obviously you probably get asked a lot to say a lot of Witcher lines, but are there words or phrases or moving your voice in a certain way that you really hate doing when you're you're doing VO stuff? Because I, I remember you saying, like, when you first did Geralt, it was really deep and it messed up your voice. So. It was really, really challenging, yeah, just just because my voice didn't go down to that register. I'm, I'm, I'm recording a game right now, and I'm the English localization for one of the characters. I have to match the, the time code of the original language almost exactly to within half of a second. Yeah. And that's really challenging. That's really hard. Um, but especially when quite often the translation is either too long or too short to be able to match the original audio. I mean, this can be this can be an interesting challenge as well. Don't get me wrong. So they all come at him at once. <laughs> yeah. Well, Just not fair. Straight away with an arrow there. Oh. So this is probably actually a good good time to ask this question as you're about to die again. <laughs> if you had to describe Tales of Iron in three words, what would it be? Um, in three words, bloody rat mayhem. <laughs> that's good. I was expecting more swearing in there, so that's good. <laughs> I like that. There we go, heads off, gone. Now this guy was the one that got you last time, so you've got to come back at him. Turn around! <laughs> what you doing? Oh, oh. Ah, my finger left the <laughs> shift key. Oh. Oh. You can't do it though, you're absolutely right. You gotta, you gotta parry that guy and yeah, knock him yeah. down and then you can slash it as an underside. Exactly. Okay, well that's the end of the demo playthrough today, Doug. It was great having you here. Obviously it's always lovely to see you, so... Thanks for playing, and can we just hear a little bit of that iconic Doug Cockle voice, please? Of course, of course. Reggie wants to invite you to purchase Tales of Iron, coming out on all major platforms, and from Oddbug Studio and United Label, Reggie will see you in-game. Thanks for today, Doug. That has been <laughs> amazing to watch you play through. I loved it. Thank you. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real challenge, everybody, so, you know, don't think it's all cute and cuddly and stuff. It looks cute and cuddly, and then you start fighting things, and, <laughs> yeah, it gets challenging pretty quick. Excellent. Really but you does. can do it! <laughs> <laughs>